On Thursday, August 26, 2021, the Forestry Department visited the Hermitage Forest Reserve in the Cumberland Valley in the aftermath of the eruption of the Lassa Freire Volcano to conduct a survey of the Sanctuary of the National Board of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Amazona Gildingi. The project coordinator for the UNDP Rich to Reef project explained the purpose of the exercise. Our purpose here today was to come out to try and bridge the gap between our policy makers and our technical people and have some fun in the field so that we could see our Amazona Gilding, which is the National Bird of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Here's a brief history of the Forest Reserve. Here we are at the Cumberland Hermitage Forest area. This is a forest reserve under the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Forest Resources Conservation Act. And it became a reserve because of its importance to water. Um, as you came up the road, you would have seen the Vinlick um, power plants. They are part of this. Also, we have um, the Central Water and Storage Authority has a treatment plant and also a catchment area further up in the Hermitage um, Valley. Here we have a lot of plantation forests mixed with natural forests, which is a part of our building of biodiversity and protection of the watershed area. It's one of our areas where we have a high population of the St. Vincent Parrot um, because of what it provides, the environment that it provides. Also, we observed during the eruption that the, the parrots apparently moved more into this area. Also, we have a Hermitage field station here. That field station was built again around the time of the Cumberland Hydro Project, which would be around 1985-86. And um, that is where the forest officers come to, to stay. They, they do different activities there and during the pirate census. There's a rich history of the reserve here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Forest management started long before our time, before historical times. Of course, the days of the Sabonis and the Caribs and so on, they were very instrumental in utilizing the forest around them as part of their, their natural cultural heritage and so on. But we can say forest management really started in St. Vincent with the declaration of this, the Kings Hill Reserve in 1792. Um, persons who have seen that declaration would see in its narrative that it was protected for the attraction of rain, for attracting rain. And Dr. Kirby, who is now dead and deceased, sought to put a, a, a geophysical spin on it. It is his opinion that around that time, the region was experiencing an extreme drought as part of the El Nino cycle. And the plantation owners in that area, in the Bellevue area, saw everything dry up except Kings Hill and thought that there might have been something in this thing to protect. And that was 1792. And in 1912, we had a national proclamation that all lands that sit above a thousand foot elevation will be protected for forests. That again, according to Dr. Um, Kirby's hypothesis, that came at the time of the Industrial Revol uh, Revolution when we were moving from, from wind power to um, wood-driven production. So a lot of forests were being cut for the purpose of driving machineries and so on, sugarcane production. And the proclamation was to protect some of the forests for its importance. The initiative to protect the national bird as well as other endemic species, is of paramount importance in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Amazona Gildingi, the national bird of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, is very dear to us. And uh, recently we had 32 eruptions of La Soufre, and we are all aware of the negative impact on the, the habitat of the national bird. October the 30th, 2010, we also had Hurricane Thomas that destroyed a significant percentage of the, the habitat of the national bird also. I want to thank all the international agencies and to thank the hardworking staff of the Forestry Department for the excellent work that they continue to do. I want to encourage all the farmers to respect the laws of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, all the forest users, and just to take this opportunity again to encourage the hard-working staff of the Forestry Department 
to continue to lift St. Vincent and the Grenadines higher? For me, it was a very good experience being out of the office. You know, sometimes we sit at our desk, but coming out here and actually see what is happening, you know, it just gives me a better appreciation for the wild and for all that the guys are doing at the forestry um, the department, um, seeing how they, they, you know, how they're going to approach doing this um, parrot census. And I think it was a very good experience and I really enjoyed it. This little field trip today was, it was very informative. I find um, it gave, as a custodian of our natural resource, which is water, um, it really gives you an insight of the environment that you are around and gives a great appreci appreciation of, of what, what, you, what the forestry personnel and the technocrats do here and we really appreciate it. It's a good opportunity for me to come out from the office to um, observe the parrot in its natural habitat. Um, I think the exercise was very good, very informative and um, we learned a lot from um, the little exercise, you know, um, the information was good, you know. Um, coming out here we heard of um, they conducting a parrot census, so we were a bit, um, you know, concerned as to, you know, how you conduct a parrot census, whether about the aspect of double counting and all that. So they dispel that really, and um, it's basically to get an average count of the parrot in the wild and so. And the exercise was quite good, and we enjoyed it, and, and so on. The Minister of Agriculture, Rural Transformation, Forestry, Fisheries, Industry, and Labour, Honorable Saboto Caesar expressed gratitude to the forestry department for their conservation efforts throughout the years. I really want to thank the forestry department for this opportunity. We are here with several technicians from different departments, but certainly this knowledge should be transferred to students who are interested. I know that there are many persons interested in St. Vincent and Grenadines in bird conservation and uh, we will be ensuring that they get the opportunity to be scientific. I'm really grateful for the opportunity I had this evening and I want to wish the Forest Division all the very best. Thank you.